What's going on everyone? It's Tay with Spectacular Gadgets. As many of you know, iOS 18 has dropped and it has tons of refinements and brand new features. One of the cool added features that I just noticed is the iPhone mirroring feature. This is very useful for me personally because I no longer have to stop what I'm doing to pick up my phone for anything. Well, almost anything. I can show you better than I can tell you. Let's do this! Spectacular gadgets. You will want to sit down in front of your Mac device, grab your iPhone. I have the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Make sure to have both of your devices updated to the latest operating system. So that's iOS 18 for iPhone and version 15 on your Mac device. Once you do the update, you'll notice this icon. It's the iPhone mirroring application. Click on that, it'll find your iPhone. So again, it's connecting to my iPhone. And if we take a closer look, the actual iPhone says this iPhone is being used from Mac Studio. So it is connected to my Mac Studio, which we see here. Sometimes you may have to unlock your device in order to get this started. So I'll show you right now. It's trying to connect, but right now it's telling me to unlock the iPhone. So I'm gonna have to take the iPhone, enter in my passcode on the iPhone. And once I do that, go back to the Mac and hit connect. Once the application opens, what you'll notice is that the layout on the Mac is the same exact layout that you have on your iPhone, which I find very convenient. So you're not looking around or the system doesn't change it just because you're using the Mac. The next thing I wanna show you is you can resize this application. You can move it around anywhere on your screen. You'll be using Command Plus, Command Minus, and Command Zero to switch the sizing. If I select Command Plus, it will increase the size of the application. So this is the largest that you can have the application open. Then if I hit Command Minus, that will decrease the size of this application. So right here, I have pressed it, I pressed it one more time, and this is the smallest that you can have the application. Command Zero will put it back to the actual size. You can use this application to surf the phone as you would if you were actually physically holding the device. So I also wanna show you that you can do a universal copy from the application to the Mac and vice versa. So let's go ahead and take this article right here about those annoying lantern flies. I'll find something that I can copy and then I'm gonna show you I can paste it to something on the actual Mac device. I have pressed Command C to copy this text here from this article and I'm gonna go into my notes on my Mac device and paste the text onto one of my notes on the Mac device using Control V. You can do the same thing, meaning I can take notes or anything that I want to copy from my Mac and place it onto an application on my device. So here I have copied some tags that I did from an old video, and I'm going to place this into an app on the actual iPhone. I'm now going to use the app library search bar and start typing in the word notes. Now this will bring up Google Keep, and that's the application that I wanna use. Once in Google Keep, I'm gonna go down and select the plus button. This will open up a new note for me. Then I'm gonna go over to the Mac and highlight the text that I got from my Notes app. I'm going to select Command C, and then once I'm over to the iPhone mirroring application, just hit Command V, and here it is. Now, as you'll see, this is real-time interaction between your Mac device and your iPhone. I just wanted to show you this because I know somewhere in the comments I'm gonna get this question. So let's just go ahead and answer you now. Can you play Call of Duty Mobile using this application? And yeah, you can kind of, you can play it, but um, your controls are limited unless someone knows, if you do know, put it down in the comments, if you can use something else because basically you're just gonna be using your mouse to control everything. But on a side note, this is pretty nice because while I'm doing all of this stuff on my Mac, my phone stays on the lock screen and no one has any idea that I'm actually really using my device. So yeah, don't get this confused with screen mirroring. That's a little bit different. Here with iPhone mirroring, I am using and being able to control my complete 
iPhone device without you even realizing I'm using it. When you use screen mirroring, you actually have to control the iPhone screen and then display it onto another device. So therefore, everyone can see that, you know, what you're doing, what it is on your screen and everything. Using iPhone mirroring, if you looked at my phone while it was sitting on a desk, you wouldn't have any clue that I'm actually using it. So parents, pay attention if your kid willingly gives you their phone while they're supposed to be doing homework, you might want to kind of peek over the shoulder. Now, there's a lot of things that you can do using this iPhone mirroring app, but there are a few things that you will not be able to do when using this application. Let's take a look. You will not be able to use the camera while this is connected to your Mac device. This is letting you know that the camera is not available. So I'm going to say OK, and then I'm going to still press the button just to see. And soon as I press the camera button, again, the pop up comes up saying the camera's not available from the Mac. Just because I was curious, I wanted to try this on the video recording part of the camera. And as you see, I get the same pop up, but up here on the top, the video recording timer is starting to count. So I say, okay. And now I'm curious because now what is going to be in my photo gallery on the actual iPhone? So let's take a look. Just what I figured, you're gonna have a bunch of screenshots in your photo gallery and the videos don't have sound nor do they have pictures, of course. So yeah, it's not gonna work if you're trying to use the camera app while it is connected to your Mac device. Another thing you can't do is make a phone call. So as you see, I have my other line, nothing's happening, no phone calls coming in and nothing is actually happening on the application itself. So you're not gonna be able to make phone calls from the app. But what if someone's calling you on your iPhone? Well, you're not gonna get any kind of animations or notifications on the iPhone mirroring app, but you'll simply get the normal notification on your screen if your iPhone is connected to your Mac device. One thing that you can do though, is cycle through your recent apps using this button right here. You'll go ahead and press that. And this way you can cycle through your apps, your recent apps as you would normally do on your device. And yeah, you can even swipe them away. And just in case you're wondering, yes, Apple Music does work. You can go ahead, cycle through your playlists, actually play tracks. It does actually work. And also if you wanted to, you can totally reply to text messages, iMessages, you can reply and obviously you can receive them. And this is just another cool feature to have so that you can continue to do what you need to do on your Mac without being interrupted with having to go get your phone and all of that. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I wanna thank everyone for taking the time to chill with me as we go through this journey. And until next time, everyone, I want you all to have a spectacular day. Later.